Okay, I am going to show you how to fit this part, which I will be away, but you will figure out how to fit from this video. It's, it looks complicated, but it's very simple. Let's begin. Firstly, on the outboard, there are a few wires to note. On the left here, there are two green wires. Ignore these, they are not to do with the spark at all. There is a wire coming from the kill cord. This is a white wire and a ground wire. Leave the ground wire in place and keep the white wire where it is. That will be plugged into the CDR unit. There is then a wire coming from underneath. This is the pulsar coil unit. There are two wires, a ground wire, a black wire. All the ground wires are black and a charge coil wire from here, red and white. This is part of the function of the spark plug that creates the spark. Then, this is from the charge coil. The charge coil has two wires, a brown wire and a blue wire. Neither of these are ground and it is important to note where these go. So these are your two input wires which create the spark. The pulsar coil and the charger coil. And these are your two outputs for the spark up here. One is to this spark plug, the other is to this spark plug. I will explain which is which. This is the unit. It is fitted this way round, not like that, but upside down, with the open part at the bottom. On this unit, there's a few different wires. I'll quickly explain them. This black wire, separate it from the others. It is purely black and nothing else, and it has a special ring. This black wire is a ground wire. When you attach this, with this unit is attached with those two bolts, here and here. You'll need a number 10 spanner. It plugs onto the side like that. I would suggest you plug everything in before you attach it. Out of the unit comes this black wire, the ground wire. Now the ground wire, when you attach it to the side of the outboard, this ring, the washer, will be placed onto one of the bolts, which is connected to the main block. That is your ground on this engine. And at the other end of it, this black plug, will connect to the ground lead on the pulsar coil. So, black earth, ground lead, pulsar coil. These clips make a noticeable clip noise when they're plugged in and you've got to make sure that they're properly connected otherwise they will not transmit electricity properly. So the first thing first is the ground coil. Now next for the pulsar coil there is a red and white wire. Match that to the red and white wire on the pulsar coil. Same thing again, to clip it in, make sure it's properly clipped. If it's slightly loose, just give it a squeeze with pliers to make sure it's tight. Next, you have your red, sorry, not red, you have your blue and brown wires. These two wires are also input wires, and they connect to the charging coil. Brown, obviously, to brown, and blue to blue. Make sure, once clipped on and firmly pressed, you put the sleeve over each one to protect it from corrosion. Then you're left with three more wires. Your white wire, pure white, is for your kill cord assembly. The engine needs this kill cord assembly plugged in and this piece lifted up to run. However, if you want to test the spark, you can just unplug it and you don't need to worry about that. This will test the spark only. The engine should spark without this plugged in, but if you plug it in, then you will need the kill cord switch raised before it'll work. So white wire to the white kill cord lead. So now we have the pulsar coil connected, the kill cord, kill cord wire connected, and your charging coil connected. Now there are two other wires. On this CDI unit, the wire has been cut, but it is an orange and black wire. Getting closer here. Orange and black wire. And there's also a white and black wire. These two coloured wires are the two wires that feed to the spark plug. The orange and black 
is for the long cable attached to the spark plug, which is close. There will be a plug on the new one to just plug it on. The other white and black wire, which is a long cable, comes up here and it plugs in on top of the engine. So you have your white and black wire to white and black. Your orange and black wire, which will have a clip on the new one, will also plug into a white and black. However, it will be the closer of the two spark plug cables. It will be on the side of the CDI unit. Match the colours brown with brown, blue with blue. That's for the main charging power source. Your pure white wire, make sure there's also the ground wire stays there. This is for your cutoff switch, the safety kill switch. And then last of all, you have your pulsar coil. Make sure the pulsar coil is connected to the ground of the CDI unit and the red and white wire here to the red and white wire of the CDI unit. When all these are fitted, as, as shown, you then take your ground lead, which comes out of the CDI unit, and when you attach the CDI unit to the engine, you put that through. Let's take the bolt there. And the bolt, just like this, goes through the washer and through this, and that attaches the unit on. So it's grounded through this bolt and the unit just fits in, just in here, like that. Don't over tighten them because it will crack, just like this, crack the plastic, be careful. And that is exactly how to fit it. When you want to test the spark, just take the spark plugs out, touch the edge of the spark plug to the engine casing and they should both spark.